This is an image Lauren DeBrock wants you to see. It's really hard to see your strong husband. He's so weak. A 34-year-old wife and mother of three standing over her high school sweetheart's hospital bed. Thank you so much. A maze of wires and tubes keeping 36-year-old Michael DeBrock breathing, a luxury stolen by COVID-19. I can't bring myself to go in my bed. Um, last time I was there with my husband, we didn't even kiss by. She too was hospitalized with the virus until early August. She's still using oxygen, but dealt a far better hand than her husband. Neither were vaccinated. I made the appointment three times and canceled it because I was too busy. If I could go back in time, that is the one thing I would change. Willis Knighton Health System in Shreveport is struggling to keep up as Louisiana experiences a fourth surge of the coronavirus sparked by the potently contagious Delta variant and one of the lowest vaccination rates in the country. I hate to say the younger they are, the harder it is. But, you know, somebody's not going home to their children. Since July 1st, Willis Knighton has seen a 1,200% increase in COVID hospitalizations. It's just the rate at which it's grown and spread this time is, is way faster. You okay? And a year and a half into the pandemic, okay. I know. Nurses are tired. I see a lot that I never thought I would see in my career. Just remember slow and deep, okay? word I can think of to describe it is probably defeating. ICU nurse Melinda Hunt drives to work as the sun rises six to seven days a week, something she now dreads. Normally most people at work would describe describe me as this like peppy, upbeat person and I've had a lot of my coworkers approach me about just um, you know they, they feel like you know I'm changing you know asking me if I feel like I need to take a break. Like, but a nationwide nursing shortage means she feels like she can't. Imagine the pressure of knowing that I don't know if I can do this another day, another hour, but if I don't show up tomorrow, there's nobody here to take care of this patient. There's nobody here to hold this phone and let them talk to their family the last time before we put a tube in them. Early on, the nursing staff here would place a paper angel on the wall every time they lost a patient. But you can imagine after so much time passing and so many deaths, that gets to be a heavy image to look at. So now they're using paper streamers, anything here at all that can keep spirits high. Really, we're just looking for anything we can do for the staff to try to find some joy in there every day because there's very little in it right now. Just an hour into her shift, Hunt zips up a body bag over a woman who passed four days after being admitted with COVID-19. I feel like I've just kind of become numb to it in a way. Nurses then quietly wheel the stretcher down to meet a funeral home attendant, a scene playing out too many times here. I don't think anybody ever told me you had to take your body down to a loading dock. It's uh, definitely been different. Dr. Newell, 283. Lauren DeBrock believes her husband will walk out of Willis Knighton soon. I know he's fighting for us, like no doubt in my mind. She does her hair and makeup every morning, just in case today's the day he wakes up. When Michael opens his eyes one day, he's gonna look at me and he's gonna think, oh, Lauren looks okay, so she must be okay. A bit of hope found in a pandemic that's stealing so much of it away. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.